Hello, and welcome back to the Warp and Realms. Recently there was a comment asking about converted orcs, and uh, I've kind of got some, so I figured I'd show off what I've done with them previously. With that in mind, this video is a little different. It's a showcase of my very first army, the Caradron Orconauts. I started with two units of Grot, or Goblin-themed Arcanauts. Uh, I don't think the kit's actually around anymore, but the base models are old-school Goblin Wolf Riders. If memory serves, this was the first time I'd actually tried to convert a full unit before. Uh, it was definitely a lot of fun making the special weapons and the leaders unique, and I think some of the standard troops kind of have some good character too. One thing I realized when I was putting these guys together is that yes it's made for Age of Sigmar, but a lot of it doubles up for 40k orcs quite nicely also. Uh, I'd love to hear people's thoughts on what different units could equate to. Next up is a unit of engine riggers. I figured orcs would be the best route to go here and I love the idea of a couple harpoon guns and buzzsaw blades with rivet guns. Thematically, goblins would probably have been the better choice for fixing ships, but uh, it is what it is. I was definitely pretty proud of these guys at the time. Uh, one of them, looks like he's on the far side right now, was actually the test model for the entire army. He looks a little bit different. This is a unit of Grunstock Thunderers. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to have some of the iconography and the little pet thing from the usual dwarven kit. So we got the one guy with the kind of skull and crossbones above, and instead of a whirling owl robot thing, we got a squig on a leash. Here are the heroes. First up is an admiral, good and gobliny. And then we have a couple heroes that I kind of put together for 40k, although I haven't actually been able to play it. The guy in the mech suit is a war boss, shaman, and then a knob with a war banner, if I remember the names correctly. This gruesome twosome is Lordo and Ordo, my Lord Ordinator proxy. And then we have an Aether Chemist here as well. And we're getting into the vehicle. So this is a steam tank I put together. Uh, Lore-wise, I kind of love the idea of these, this scrappy ensemble trying to replicate the flight technology. So this is almost there, but not quite. Um, I was looking for a set of wheels at the time, but I couldn't find them, so I settled for some tracks. A little too close to 40k in my mind, but um, for a random kit patch, it'll do. Next is the Gun Hauler. I actually quite enjoyed the wolf motif from that old Wolf Rider kit, so I incorporated one of their heads as a prow for the ship. Um, otherwise, nothing too crazy here, just lots of grots and goblins on there, and a little kind of miniature black flag on the, the floaty balloon. Finally, we have the Frigate. Uh, at the time, it was actually, aside from the Mammoth, this is probably the biggest conversion I've done to date. It was a lot of fun to put together. There's all kinds of little details from a treasure trove at the back between the horns. Captain's got a hook for a hand. Uh, that, all the grots hanging off of it, the little skulls and such. Uh, it was hard to paint, but it was a lot of fun to put together. I kind of actually love that the entire thing is on a slight tilt as well. Like, very fitting given the army. If I was to revisit this project, I think it would be a lot of fun to kit bash an ironclad. Um, let me know if that's something you want to see, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this old project. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.